sight. He had to depend on the Most High at that very moment. He had to depend on Him for everything. He had to depend on Him for His strength. He had to depend on Him for everything that was going on with Him at the time. Verse 27, the reason why I say it had to be this way, it had to be a spectacle. It had to be the way it was. It had to get out of this because they was looking at this as a great victory. Verse 27 says, Now the house was full of men and women. Listen. And all the lords of the Philistines was there. And it says some, it says, All the lords of the Philistines was there. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that beheld while sight, while Samson was sported. The word sport means made a mockery, spin on, played at, mocked at, laughed at. They was laughing at Samson at this point. It was the men and women, it was the Philistines, all the leaders of the Philistines. And all the audience of the people was mocking Samson. But they didn't understand that all this stuff had to take place to deliver the children out of Israel. They didn't understand that. Because they didn't know. So what happened? The next verse. And Samson called upon Yahuwah and said, O Yahuwah, El, remember me, I pray thee. And strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O El, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up, born up, of the one on the right hand and on the left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with his might and the house fell upon the Lord's and upon all the people where they're in. So the dead which he slow at his death were, listen to this, more than they which he slow in his life. What am I saying in this? <clears throat> Verse 20, oh. what am I saying? Verse, chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. Samson was born to deliver the children out of Israel. The Most High used Delilah for their deliverance. But Delilah did not understand that. But what am I doing on Delilah? What am I doing right now on YouTube? What am I doing right now on Facebook? trying to spread the word. See, if Delilah didn't exist, I couldn't talk to people over in Europe. If Delilah didn't exist, I couldn't talk to people over in Africa. If Delilah didn't exist, I couldn't talk to people in California. So what, what they think they're doing is actually not what they're doing. Because it gave me more access to more people. Delilah gave me more access to more people to be able to help. See, what they thought they was doing to Samson is not what they was doing. Because in verse 30 it says, And Samson let me die with the Philistines, and he bowed himself with all his might, 
and the house fell upon the Lord's. Tell on everybody. He killed everybody. And upon all the people that were therein, so the dead were, which he slow at his death were more than which he slow in his life. See what Delilah thought she was going to do is just kill one person? Delilah wound up killing the whole nation of people. She just didn't kill Samson. She killed the whole nation of people. Because they was oppressing the children of Israel. So what, the, what Delilah is doing with the internet? She's thinking she's gathering information to kill the people. But she's allowing the word to go to... The seven continents of the world. I'm able to look at stuff in Africa. I'm able to look at stuff in Europe. I'm able to look at stuff in China. People in China can talk to me on Facebook. Or YouTube. So when Delilah thought she was keeping me in a box. She has allowed me to go to the four corners of the earth. Proverbs, last, I'm just going to read one because I've been on long. Proverbs 12 and 23. Let me go to verse 22. Let me go to verse 21. That shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of a fool's proclaim foolishness. The hands of the diligent shall be ruled, but the slowful shall be under tribute. What am I saying? Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. I'm going to go to verse 19. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not. Listen to this. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in the place of God. But as for you, you thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. What they're trying to do to bring evil against us, the Most High is using it for His good to go to the four corners of the earth to reach as many people as He can. See, I'm looking at people in Afghanistan saying, You black people in America, yes, we need your prayers. You are the true children of Israel. People in Australia saying, yes, you are the true, true, true children of Israel. People in Africa, we're saying that the Ibu tribe is in Israel, in Africa, Nigeria. They're the true chosen people. So but what people do to try to make it evil, the Most High is going to do it to make it good. That's your salvation. And you got to continue to trust that the Most High is going to use it for the good and not for the bad. See, the Lord's got the information to try to kill Goliath. But the Most High used it to kill the Lord's. See, what we're doing right now, we're spreading information to kill the misinformation or the lack of information that is not out here about us. They don't understand that. But let me pray. Abba, as we come to you today, we thank you, we bless you, we praise you, we give you all the honor and the glory. Abba, we thank you for everything you have done and what you continue to do. Abba, we thank you for just being you. We thank you for giving us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. We thank you for just letting your light shine. 
We thank you for giving us this moment. We thank you for Delilah. We thank you for her. Because your word is able to go to the four corners of the earth. They thinking they're gathering information to destroy us, but we are sending your information out to save many people. Like it says in Genesis chapter 20. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring it to pass as it is this day. See, the internet today is to save much people alive. That's why the word is going out. That's why you're allowing us to deal with Delilah. But we just got to use Delilah in the proper context. We got to put Delilah in the proper place. We just got to put Delilah in the proper place so that it can be beneficial to the people. Abba, we ask that you help us to do that. We ask that you let us use these platforms to benefit people. To put out information that will help them. Not to, you, not to put out our personal information to go against us, where they can use social engineering against us, but use positive information out here to help others who are in need, who need prayer, who need help, who need healing. Because uh, we knew that them lords, the governments, want to try to kill, steal, and destroy us, but we know that you want us to have life, and life abundantly. And you want to try to save as many people as you can before you come back. So I we ask that you help us and continue to guide us and lead us and be with us. I we ask that you forgive us for the sins that we have committed knowingly and unknowingly. We ask that you continue to just bless us and protect us. We ask that you continue to provide for us in the ways that you want to provide for us. And we ask that you just continue to let your will be done. And all these things we pray in your higher name. So let it be. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Y'all have a blessed one. Have a good one. Happy Sabbath day. And thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. We can see the place. We can see the fall. We can see the rise. We can see the truth. We know we the truth. We can see the lies. Won't let us go. Don't let us know. We can see the prize. Trusting in your words. Say your mighty hand one more time. Blow.